Okay, in the last lecture, uh, we have discussed about the pulse width modulation using tubule 5 timer based monostable multi vibrator. So, the next application is uh, we can use this monostable multi vibrator to perform the frequency division. frequency divider using triple phi timer based monostable multi vibrator this is monostable multi vibrator so we know that the monostable multi vibrator in standby mode output q bar will be high as a result of that output of this triple phi timer will be low because there is an inverter between the q bar and q and this q bar is uh, connected to the transistor which is uh, connected across the capacitor so implies the transistor Q1 is on thereby short circuited if I consider ideal case implies capacitor clamps to ground. This is clear from that the diagram that we have considered even if we take this diagram also here in fact this trigger pulse is applied and capacitor is connected across here between 6 and 1 here in fact this capacitor is connected and there is a resistor here RA in monostable multi vibrator. So, if this transistor Q1 is on in a standby mode, because this Q bar is equal to 1, this will be on, this will act as a short circuit. So, this capacitor will be short circuited, this will be connected here. The so, capacitor will short circuit. As a result of that, what will be the voltage at uh, 6 point, because this is connected to the capacitor. So, here also this is 0 volts. So, the voltage at uh, non-inverting terminal is 0, inverting terminal is 2 3rd VCC, so output will be 0. Now, if I apply the negative going trigger pulse, if a negative going trigger pulse is applied, and when it crosses one third VCC that is trigger voltage is less than one third VCC. So, what happens here? this trigger voltage is slightly less than one third VCC this is one third VCC so the voltage at non-inverting terminal is more than the voltage at inverting terminal so that this becomes 1 and R was 0 so what happens to this uh, output of the flip flap implies q is equal to 1 and q bar is equal to 0. So, the transistor q 1 is off and what happens to the output 
is equal to q itself. So, this is equal to 1. So, this transistor q 1 is off implies open circuited implies the capacitor the short circuit across the capacitor releases. implies capacitor charges towards VCC with a time constant of RA into C. So, this Q bar becomes 0 so, this will be instead of on now will be off instead of short circuit open circuit. So, across this capacitor open circuit means this short circuit was released now the capacitor charges through this RA towards VCC and what happens to output output goes to the high and how long it will stay in a high state is given by T A is equal to 1.1 1 .1 times this RA times C. Now, in order to make this monostable multi vibrator to divide the frequency by 2, so what happens to this uh, waveforms? Divide by 2 circuit. This was the trigger signal. A series of triggers are applied here. This is trigger input. Somewhere here, one third VCC will be there. this is VCC, this is one third VCC. Initially, when trigger is not applied, trigger is high, what will be this uh, capacitor voltage? If you assume that VC of T is the voltage across the capacitor, In standby mode, capacitor will be short circuited as we have discussed. First, I will draw the output, after that, I will draw this VC of T. Output will really initially in standby mode 0, whenever the negative pulse going pulse is applied whose amplitude is less than one third of ECC this will go to high and how long this will be high this will be decided by the RA and uh, C values. If I choose this RA and C values such that if this is high for a time period greater than time period of the trigger signal, so this is one time period. So, I am going to choose this pulse width slightly greater than T. Suppose if this is this one, whenever the output goes to high, so Q bar is 0, so short circuit will be released, capacitor will charge towards VCC, this is the point where the capacitor starts charging. Now, it will charge us to two third VCC, then this output will change us from high state to low state. This is logic 1, logic 0. So, this is the point where it will change us from high to low state. 
So, for the transition from 1 to 0, the condition is you have to change from this high to low. The condition here will be the voltage at uh, sixth terminal that is the voltage across this capacitor has to be slightly more than two third VCC. Otherwise, the output stays in high state only. This output will stay in high state only. So, if I choose this high state, even if you apply the second uh, negative trigger here, if this capacitor does not charge to two third VCC, here the voltage is a value which is less than two third VCC and here only it will charge us to two third VCC. Now, here what happens to output? Now, because we have applied the second uh, negative going pulse here, this is the first negative going pulse, this is the second negative going pulse. Now, we are assuming that this pulse width Tp is greater than T. So, we know that uh, even if uh, a second negative going pulse is applied until this output is high, it will not uh, recognize that uh, second negative going pulse. The reason for that one is actually if I start from here negative going pulse here actually this S is equal to 1, R is equal to 0 that is we are getting q is equal to 1, q bar is equal to 0. So, q is equal to 1 means output is also 1, output is nothing but q. So, we are getting output as 1. So, during this portion S remains 1 because if it is slightly less than one third VCC, so output goes to S will uh, becomes 1. Now, if uh, this trigger input if it exceeds slightly more than one third VCC here at this point where the voltage is slightly greater than one third VCC. What happens to this uh, output of the lower comparator? Now, here in the positive going uh, portion this portion whenever it crosses one third VCC here if the voltage is greater than one third VCC this is one third VCC. So, negative voltage is greater than this one. So, S becomes 0. R is still 0 only because this capacitor has not charged up to the two third VCC. So, if the voltage here is less than two third VCC, R becomes 0 only. R becomes 1 only if this voltage is greater than this two third VCC. Now, here what happens is, so at this point actually from here onwards, S becomes 0, R was already 0. Now, what happens to the Q? At this point, S is equal to 1, R is equal to 0, Q is equal to 1. Now, here S becomes 0, R is 0 only. So, what happens to Q? So, we know that uh, from the two table, uh, this if for S is equal to 0, R is equal to 0, output will not change. Output remains in the previous state only. So, as a result of that, even though you have applied S is equal to 0, R is equal to 0, the previous state of Q is equal to 1 will be retained. That is why still at this point also, this output becomes 1 only because Q is equal to output itself. So, in order to change this output to low level state, you have to uh, make this R is equal to 1. R is equal to 1 means this capacitor has to charge to 2 third VCC. So, if I assume that this is the point where uh, the capacitor charges to 2 third VCC. So, this is the point where if this is slightly here. So, at this point what will be S and R? Here this becomes S is equal to 0, again here S is equal to 1, again here after above this S is equal to 0. So, this is equal to S is equal to 0 but R is equal to 1 here because whenever the capacitor charges to a value which is slightly more than two third VCC, this two third VCC, 
so positive voltage is greater than negative voltage so r, r becomes 1 now what happens here the output goes to low s is equal to 0 r is equal to 1 implies q is equal to 0 implies output is also 0 you can see from the root table also s is equal to 1 r is equal to 0 output becomes 1 s is equal to 0 r is equal to 1 s becomes q becomes 0 so this q becomes 0 now what happens is after that the another negative going pulse the third negative going pulse so at this point again it will re-trigger here also if a voltage is just slightly less than one third vcc so at this point what happens r was already one so s also becomes s is equal to one and because this uh, output has become q bar output q is equal to zero implies q bar equal to one implies transistor q1 is short circuited and capacitor bypasses and capacitor voltage becomes 0 so as a result of that so at this point what happens is this r becomes 0 so because s is equal to 1 r is equal to 0 again the output will be 1 so again it will go to the high like that this will continue so one point that you have to remember here is at this point output will change So, the second uh, trigger no change why because so the second negative going pulse this capacitor has not yet charged up to the two third vcc that is why even if you apply the second uh, trigger the output will not change but at the third uh, negative trigger again the output will change why because now the capacitor already charged to two third VCC, so the output uh, became zero. So output again changes to logic one. So but the condition here is we are choosing uh, this TP slightly more than this T. This is the TP period and this is T. This is T. This is TP. TP is slightly greater than T. But here this TP should be less than twice T. This is another T. If it is greater than twice t then uh, this third uh, negative going pulse also will not be recognized and there will be no change at the uh, third uh, negative going pulse also. That is why the condition for the uh, divide by 2 circuit will be. So, you have to choose t p such that t is less than t p is less than twice t. So, that the circuit will access as divide by 2 circuit. In order to uh, realize divide by 3 circuit, the condition is 2t is less than tp is less than 3t. So, like that you can implement this monostable multi as frequency divider by any factor by properly choosing this value and this value. If it is 3t to 4t, it will actually divide by 4 circuit and so on. This is one of the application of this monostable multi vibrator and this type of the frequency division will be uh, useful in many of the applications. For example, if I take a communication system which uh, process audio signals, video signals, fax etc. Then uh, the frequencies of audio signal, video signal and uh, fax are different. So, you generate only one clock then you generate the other frequencies by using the frequency division circuits. So, in such applications we can use these frequency dividers. The third application of this monostable multi vibrator is missing pulse detector. Suppose if you want to uh, 
detect the pulses of ECG. If any pulse is uh, missed, we can uh, detect that uh, pulse using a triple five timer monostable multi vibrator. And uh, similarly, we have the other application uh, such as a uh, speed control and measurement. So, this is also having lot of applications. Then how to implement this uh, missing pulse detector? So, for that we will use this triple five timer in the monostable mode with the external connections as which is 4 and 8 will be connected to VCC. One and five will be grounded. If five is not used, this has to be ground through 0 0.1 microfarads as uh, recommended by the manufacturer. Then we have seven six here. Both will be short circuited, and this will be connected to the resistor. Here there is a transistor is connected. This is where trigger is applied. At three output is taken. Uh, how does this uh, acts as a missing pulse detector? If I consider these are the pulses, At trigger input. A negative going uh, trigger signal here will uh, short circuit this transistor, thereby the capacitor will charge towards VCC with a time constant of R into C. And whenever this negative going trigger crosses one third VCC, as we know, output goes to high. These are the places where this negative going trigger is applied. If the capacitor charges here, slowly charges, so here the capacitor will charges. So, before this second negative going clock pulse is applied, if it charges to a voltage which is less than two third VCC, then what happens? The output was high. So here it has not charged up to uh, two third VCC. Output will remain high only. So during this second negative going uh, this one. So, the capacitor will be short circuited, it will go to 0, again it will start charging here. Again after second clock pulse also, it has not reached up to 2 third VCC, this is value is less than 2 third VCC, output remains high only. So, third pulse also if it does not reaches, then output is high only, it will still becomes high only. So, this is the case if all the pulses are detected, this is with all the pulses detected. Now, what I am going to do is if I miss this pulse, if I make this as high only, then what happens here this capacitor will get enough time, here the capacitor has not got enough time to reach up to 2 third VCC because 
this duration is this t time period is greater than the tp. Now, here because this pulse has been missed, now the capacitor has a time to charge up to the two third Vcc. As a result of that, this output instead of becoming high, if it charges to two third Vcc somewhere here, then the output becomes low. Again, at the negative going pulse of this uh, fifth pulse, again it will go to high. This is how this will uh, detect the missing pulse. And the fourth application is linear ramp generator. This is same as the monostable multi vibrator circuit where uh, the capacitor will be replaced by a constant current source. If you consider the circuit diagram of this one, this is same as monostable multi vibrator circuit. This is transistor Q3. So, this circuitry will generate constant current to this capacitor C. Previously, there was a resistor, now we are replacing the R with a constant current source. R in monostable multi vibrator. is replaced by constant current source. Now, what will be the voltage across this capacitor? Vc of t is equal to 1 by c integral i d t from 0 to t. So, the expression for this I can be obtained here using the transistor analysis as R1 into Vcc minus R1 plus R2 times Vbe divided by R1 plus R2 into Re, this Re. Now, what will be Vc of t? 1 by c, the integral of i dt is i will come outside dt 0 to t becomes t only. If I substitute this i here, this is equal to 1 by c, this r1 vcc minus r1 plus r2 vbe divided by r1 plus r2 re into t. So, if I plot the input output waveforms, this is the negative going trigger, and what will be the capacitance voltage?
here it will be start charging linearly because this current is linear the slope of this one will be this this is equal to y is equal to mx type of thing this is the linear charging and at uh, t is equal to t whenever it charges to two third vcc the output becomes low this is the output signal if i start this as t is equal to 0 t is equal to t this duration is a t so t is equal to t vc of t is equal to 2 third vcc if you substitute here 2 third vcc this is 2 third vcc this with uh, t so you will get the expression for the t as 2 third vcc into c into r1 plus r2 into re divided by r1 vcc minus r1 plus r2 times vb this is the time period of this ramp signal again when this comes to zero this will becomes zero immediately because once the output becomes zero output is nothing but q implies q bar is equal to one which will short circuit transistor q1 which we have discussed in the monostable multi vibrator which will clamp the capacitor clamps the capacitor to short circuit this is our output is zero again it will charge here so like that you will get linear ramp at the output of this tool timer so these are some applications discuss about the other stable multi vibrator in the next lecture thank you